check your story out. Uh, would you mind keeping one of these on you? And she starts handing out seeds to each of you. Okay. Um, if you leave town, we'll know. Fair enough. Is there a possibility of a free captain having a brief conversation with the... I forget Master what his Gales. name is. The, Master huh? Gales. The Master of Gales. Gales, yeah. The Master of Gales is very busy preparing for the free captain's regatta, but I suppose he could make some time for you. Free, free captain. captain's regatta? Oh, okay. yeah, it's the free what's, captain's me, regatta. It's very famous me. in these parts. Wait, what's regatta? A regatta, it's a race. It's a boat what's race. A race? Yeah, it's a huge race. Uh, the winner of the free captain's regatta is named to become the next pirate lord. What? Yeah. What? The Master of Gales has won it every year for the last 20 years. That's why there's been no new Pirate Lords. It's kind of a dick that way. <laughs> yeah, this year he's so running it, though. Fixed, it's a fixed Oh, wait a minute, he's running it. If so. he's running it, can he compete? He's not competing, no. She's like, so she's just, so all of her emotions are very fast, and she just, like, flicks a smile real quick, and is like, no, he's, he's running it. He's making sure that Unlike what he's been doing, no one will be able to control the weather during the race. It's been a very easy victory for him, being yeah. able to put up a seawall for everyone else while zooming his ship along at two or three times the speed the gods intended with the winds. Yep. I'd say fair enough. I used to have those. I can see how that would how that would work. Of course, yeah. smaller versions of it, but I can't seem well, to remember. Them. Well, the uh, raging dolphin was actually built for speed. It's like, well, we added an arrow to the and a, free captain's regatta. Whatever the, the a bonus sails are called, we added both of those to the ship. So, oh, sounds when, fast. Should we, should we give it a shot? I mean, reputation would always help us. Infamy, we should, something we should that, start, uh, we should start right now be? figuring out how we're going to cheat. So, you know, get ahead of the game. She's like, <laughs> uh, when he says, I'm standing right the here. word for cheat is gain a competitive advantage in a legally. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. I'm like trying to make up stuff on the fly. Like and she's literally like, you know, I have your name, your ship name, right? <laughs> yeah. We'll be keeping a close eye on you. But what, wait a minute. When's the competition? Like when she is says, it? well, that's the thing. It's kind of in the works right now. Okay. Oh, okay. We'll keep an ear out then. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, we'll be in the area then. Thanks for your help. And uh, I'd really appreciate knowing uh, if that really was Pike and uh, if you guys have any information about what happened. Okay. Many thanks. We prefer it wasn't him, but then again, he probably yeah, murdered really. him. Yeah, really. It'd be better for us if he's not. Yeah. He, like, tried to fake his death poorly. All right. Well, sounds like we have a little bit of time to waste. Anybody else have anything to do? I would like to, uh, you know, if we could talk to the uh, Master of Gales, try to understand more about how to weaken the Cult of the Eye. Or, or if he's behind them first, because if he's behind them, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that kick in the face. So, I mean, if you guys want to have a, a Master of Gales chat, you can probably get fit in by like the end of the day. Okay, if that's yeah, something you want to do. So yeah, like, can we cut directly to that? Um, I'd like to gather some information first and see if we can figure out if he really is siding with them or if it's just nobody knows. And we should also wait around to find out whether or not that was actually Pike. Yeah. And if so, then we should probably go back to Keft. I'm going to use common sense and say uh, a druid would never <laughs> side with the eye of the cult. But that's just me. Uh, I, I would. My first Stranger guess things have probably happened. Probably not, but. We learned that the that green faith is in directly competition uh, with yeah. this, you know, all of a sudden accelerated numbers of the eye of the cult. What is that? Cult of the Eye, I'm sorry. That oh, picture that's the, I listed, cover? that's the Master of Gales. Oh, nice. That's the front okay. cover of book oh. uh, four. Looks like a badass. Yeah. yeah. Like, you don't want to mess with me. This beer, this beer have wrecked people. What the... 
all the giants up there throwing rocks on the ships. That's not, that's like for What? No, that that's not happening. Just no. Oh side. well, no, no, of course not. Yep, that doesn't happen. All right. It's well. like a pissed off Nordic version of Gandalf. <laughs> yep. Probably not. Yeah, they say cool. Gandalf was part druid. No, they right. said Gandalf is all druid because all of his spells are druid spells. Low yeah. level druid spells. Mm, true. But he <laughs> took on that Baylor like a beast. Yeah, and killed it with falling damage. Hey, it's still a By win. By dropping it into a lake, a flaming monster into a lake. Win. I'm he said he fought flaming monster. all the way down now, to be fair. Yeah, okay. What do you think the penalties for fighting with no gravity are? <laughs> the creature could fly, so whatever. Yep. Well, I'm course, not sure uh, what flies in that universe, but... He actually was a... Maiar spirit? Yeah. Right? Which was the second... Uh, yeah. Second tier. So, yeah. I have lived hundreds of lives of men. Just he remember, elves eat. get to live forever because they aren't cool like humans and halflings who die and go to heaven. Yep. Stupid elves. No one <laughs> likes you. Not even your own gods. Wait a minute, what if they get stabbed? Do they go to heaven or do they just no, go to prison? die. Damn, that sucks. Very sorrowful. Okay, so... Yep, they just end. Yeah, I mean, lots of elves die in all of the movies because they're, like, on the front lines of every battle. Yeah, they hey, take one for the team. Scads of them died in the books, man. Yep. All right, so uh, you're before the Master of Gales, and, you know, he's got kind of a, a hard set to his eyes, and he says... Commodore Scourge, I've heard of you. I am known as the Master of the Gales. I see um, me sweating, like it's... super sweating right now. <laughs> every every like, syllable that Scourge, Scourge please mutters don't. Scourge, makes please him don't. sweat more. <laughs> Scourge, please don't. Um, uh, I'm not sure what his title would be. I guess just, Master. Just don't um, tell him. Tree hugger, that that would be bad. <laughs> <laughs> trees, it's the trees. They're out to get us. Um, uh, it is uh, it's very good to meet you. I hope we have not uh, overly disturbed anyone in your domain. We've we've certainly attempted to tread lightly. So he like gives one barking laugh. He's like, ah, yes, I understand that you're in a bit of trouble with our law. Uh, no, we shouldn't be. We haven't done anything. Oh. Well, we, we can did... speak about what you'd like, but before you leave, I have a few questions for you. Regarding what was found at the residence of one Hayden Pike. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I was Choose rather... Choose your next words carefully. We actually wanted to speak with him. It's uh, very much uh, in conflict with our mission. That so he, he, hold, not... he holds his hand up, he's like, Whatever you want to talk about me with, you should get that out of the way. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm one to grant last requests. Very good. Well then, uh, I'm not. I'm okay. We'll we'll deal with that later then. <laughs> um, actually, we were uh, accosted on the docks by the uh, cult of the eye, and they seem to have a very strong presence here. They were handsy. I, I support religious freedom. Ah, okay. Um, well, they seem to be... Um, if they step funny. out of line, they'll be smacked back into place. Oh, okay, good. Well, that's that's excellent. I'm, I'm a big fan of that sort of response myself. Well, yeah, they're holding a conclave tonight. We'll have people watching them as normal. Okay. They're shouting something about... Hanging some dwarf from the end of a mast, but I'm sure it'll come to nothing as always. Sure. Okay. Um, well, that's uh, that's really about it. We were we were kind of concerned because they seem to be uh, having a strong presence within your domain, and um, I would be kind of annoyed myself that they'd stepped outside their bounds by uh, acting as a police force inside my own city. But you you seem to be you know. He's like they they patrol their own people. Which I'm perfectly fine with. I'll, I'll let them deal with their own. 
Okay. Well, sure. All right. Well, that's it. We uh, we really just were uh, – well, okay. A priest of Calistria in um, Port Peril told us that there was a spy operating in the shackles. So he holds the sand up. He's like, I've – I've read the reports. Okay. Uh, so he holds up like a um, uh, a brown like brass cylinder. He's like, "Do you know what this is?" No earthly idea. Do you even have knowledge engineering? I do not. One sec. Do I recognize it? Is that well, we I mean, would recognize it as a shell casing? You're talking about one of his shell casings it's from. A bullet. But yeah, okay. Uh, in that case, no, I wouldn't lie. It it looks like a uh, round from one of those despicable firearms. Yeah, so, I mean, probably none of you have ever seen one, right? Because um, even though oh, you have God. a gunslinger, he only uses, uh, like, paper cartridges. Yeah, he's not at that level. Yeah, so, Ace, oh, you, use... you have heard of these shell casings. They're extremely experimental out of Alkenstar. Okay, no, then I, I would... I you don't know I, that much about them, though, with a... Uh, yeah, with a I, I say out loud, well, I'll be I truthful. Reviews, I'll be truthful I heard with reviews it. about it, but I'm not sure on the technology. Hmm. So you say. Uh, well. And then he, like, tosses some... It looks like someone made some quick sketches. He, like, tosses them on the floor between you and him. And he, he looks over all of you and is like, What do you think of these wounds? I'll take a look at him. Okay, you okay. can make a alchemy or heal check. Alchemy or heal check. Let's see, uh, I think I might have alchemy. Well, I'll attempt it anyway. Yeah, I don't have alchemy this time, but I could do a heal check. Uh, scourge, you think he's been dead for a week? Oh. I look at it as a guy. Okay. Like um, wow. So he died long before we even got here. I agree. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. We had hoped to speak with him. So he starts like putting out more photos, and it's it's not exactly photos, but like quickly drawn portraits with a fast mm-hmm. hand, and it like outlines Haddon's house, and then like each photo, or I'm just gonna call them photos because I'm gonna keep messing up if I don't. Yeah. yeah. Uh, each enough. one is like uh, uh, getting closer and closer to a point outside his house, and it shows that brass casing like on a hilltop, like a rocky outcropping. He's like, mm-hmm. "What do you know about this place?" And can you guys make a perception check? Oh yeah, aces. Oh. You you recall exactly where this place was? It had direct line of sight to the open window. Hmm. Look like a sniper uh, perch. I concur. Now, what do you know about Chelish Opera? <laughs> I uh, a knowledge history check. <laughs> a what? Apparently, I know a lot about it. Oh yeah, you know a fucking lot. So he uh, starts laying out like these incredibly old parchments of Chelish Opera. It's all written in Infernal. Oh, I could read that. It's it's so he says it's very strange. That someone from my island would have chelish opera, but even more strange that it would be written in Infernal. Again, I don't want to impugn anyone's religion, but this is... <clears throat> well, we don't look kindly on Cheliacs here. Maybe if this was in Hell Harbor. Mm. I don't want to accuse a man, but this is what we might call anecdotal evidence. True. Um, we had some uh, problems with some chill axioms uh, about a few weeks back. So does anyone speak Infernal? I do. Do you have linguistics? Yes, I do. Make a roll for it. The DC is 30. The hell? Okay, let me see. What's my linguistics check? Uh, Make sure you dan this right now. You just got a 20 it right in your time of time. Uh, even I got a 20, that only gives me a 28. Okay, yeah, you can't... So it's clear to you that there is probably a code here, but you can't break it very quickly. Can you know what it says? Sorry, what was it? I was just asking the party if anyone can assist on a... You would all uh, have to have linguistics to do it. Right, that's what I'm asking if anyone else has it trained. Um, I do not. Do not. Okay. 
don't yeah. know. I said there's a code here, but it'll take me a while to crack it. Sleepless nights. It's like, I concur. My own agents concluded the same thing. Now, what can you tell me about a woman named Rowena Kellett? Uh, Aces. I mean, <laughs> surprisingly, you're the only person that could even get close on this. Uh, she is kind of a minor noble in Hell's Harbor. Yeah, I, you I think know I see that her. only because of your close relationship with the, the city. Yes, I, I, I have seen her at some gatherings, yes. The name has passed. It's like, oh, you do know her. Not, not personally, but I have heard her name and seen her pass by. Mm. So, yeah, I mean, you would know her as basically, like, she she's also a lord like you. She's in charge of quartermastering the port of Hell Harbor. Yes. So, uh, originally he's been getting less and less suspicious, but when you say you know Rowena Kellett, he gets immediately, like, more stone-faced. He's like, tell me what you know of her. I believe she's the, uh, what I just said, what you mm -hmm. just said. Mm-hmm. Very well. I believe my men gave you some seeds. Of course. He, like, holds his massive hand out. I'll take those back from you now. Okay. Okay. Fish him out. I appreciate that you didn't interfere with this like certain pirates might. Your prompt reporting of this incident to my men and women. I say Wolf told us not me. to cause trouble, so we're not here to start trouble. Indeed. You know, I've not heard of you before, Commodore Scourge. But you seem to have a solid ship, according to one of my agents. Have you ever considered entering the Free Pirates Regatta? Uh, I had not. Today is actually the first I had heard of it. it might be an interesting jaunt. For the last 20 years or so, it's been considered something of a joke. There's been one repeated champion of the race, but he won't be competing this year, so it's wide open. The uh, winner yeah. will become a pirate lord. Surely that must tempt a man such as you. That actually would be, uh, that'd be very interesting. So, <clears throat> I'll contact you when the time comes. Of course. I'll be looking forward to it, and if you, uh, if you have need of us, we would uh, be happy to place ourselves at your disposal. He's, so he looks at you strangely. He's like, I must admit, I'm not a f uh, familiar with Dwarven customs. Are you offering to join my fleet? Um, no, sir. But sometimes it's nice to have people who are not part of your fleet. He looks at you confused like, I don't understand. Like side missions that you don't if want to involve in? If you don't necessarily want to have a presence somewhere, but like to have a presence I believe, somewhere? I believe he wants to uh, say that uh, you are a welcomed ally. Mm. Mm. I, I want to be clear here. The way I do business, when I do something, my enemies know it was me. Yeah, Usually good. by the giant pile of bird shit. <laughs> yeah, Fair most enough. most people know where we've been to. I understand. So, quite all right. But yeah, if you have need of a of a pirate captain, never hurts to make friends. So he's like, maybe if you win the regatta, maybe then we can be friends. Huh. Well, I'm not looking for any captains to join my side. A pirate lord can never have too many friends in the council. That's That sounds like excellent advice. Thank you for your consideration. We should probably go before I piss someone off. <laughs> so, I mean, he's been pretty dour the whole time, but when you say that, he's like... <laughs> <laughs> this uh, has been all together too smooth sailing a day for me you see I asked uh, have your uh, decoders made any copies of the uh, infernal writing by chance 
Yes. May I get uh, a copy if I can work on it? No. Actually, before we go, this might be directly related. We were sent here with information that a spy was transferring um, information regarding the shackles to the uh, Chalish. And the information led us directly to Mr. Pike. Do you think there's some chance that those goofy written plays might have something to do with the information that he was moving? So he's like, I do now. <laughs> Fair enough. Hadn't occurred to me, but you know. And then we got done. Are there any some... other leads that hadn't occurred to you? Well, we also got done wrecking some chillax chains a few weeks back. Yeah, um, there was a uh, monstrous Chalaxian feet off fleet off the northern coast in the direction of the Blue Isles that we fought with recently. They but seem to be like, putting details are very fuzzy. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> yeah. so you sailed with Hell's Harbor's fleet? Uh, we yeah. warned Hell's Harbor's fleet, and they ran out against them. Yes. Mm. Yeah, okay, we need to get to the Blue Isles, my uh, domain. He's just like disgusting. The Chalaxians, yes. Absolutely. He's like, yeah, if that's how you want to interpret my comment, <laughs> yes. Uh, well, gentlemen, it appears that I have things to do. Yep. And and he's like directly trying to push aces out of the room. He's like, uh, if you could be on your business, I would appreciate it. Hmm. Okay. Not that uh, Matt, uh, Commodore Scourge needs any encouraging, but any time where I think, like you know, like he said, he stays too long to piss people off. I'm like, you know, I hear there's a really great cold ale at this <laughs> tavern over here. We should uh, maybe <laughs> try it when we have a have tough a, chance. Have a keyword like uh, like for uh, the code word is babbages. What was the babbages. code word for, for burning hands? Uh, Ghost peppers. Ghost peppers. peppers and pillow fight. <laughs> pillow fight. <laughs> I don't know what you guys are talking about. Oh, pillow man. fight. It's from pillow Jade Regent. Jade. They had a character that would go invisible and then cast burning hands in yeah, specific he... formations. And to inform this party he was about to do it, he's like, Ghost peppers. And to make sure, uh, uh, what's near Grog didn't. What was it, Grog? Um, I can't think of it. Um. But he wouldn't kill anybody. They used pillow fight as a code. Don't yep. kill him. Don't kill him. Um, why can't I remember my own character's a name? Gug. A uh, gug. I think it was a yeah, gug. A gug, yeah. He's dead as shit now, man. Dead as shit. Not only dead, double dead. Dead again, dead. Twice dead. Yeah. I hope that don't happen to our group. We become <sighs> ghost pirates. That would be an amazing, amazing mercenary name. A gug, the twice dead. The twice yeah. dead. I should. He's got an eye patch, and everyone's like, "What do they call you, a gug, the twice dead?" And you're just like, "Right here, buddy." <laughs> How do you think I got that? Put it on the other eye the next day. <laughs> <All right. laughs> That's become so cheap lately. Like Everyone does that in fiction now. It's like, oh, ha, 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 yeah, I switched my yeah, eye patch like a, now. Like a running gag, yep. I have to tell you, Iron Bull from Dragon Age Inquisition, that is a serious fucking eye patch. It's like stapled to his face. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm like, what the fuck rivets. happened to him, man? Rivets, yeah. Uh, that is he doesn't want something to get out of there, man. There's something in there he didn't want getting out. What? <laughs> There's something under there he doesn't want getting out. Oh, that's crazy as fuck, man. <laughs> I'm looking forward to learning about that. Yep. Looking forward to this, too. All right. So uh, I want to offer, if you guys want to take a break, we're only going for a little less than an, an hour. So I don't know if anybody needs to take a break here. Uh, I need to. Okay. Well, then we will take a 10-minute uh, break. All right. Get my timer started here. Grab me some water. Oh shit, that's 2206. Yeah, we'll be back shortly, guys.